Welcome. My name is Eric Franklin Finley. I am a fifth generation native of Mobile, Alabama, a city that I love very much. Today we're going to talk about Mardi Gras in Mobile. For those that may not be familiar with um, Mardi Gras from um, a, a, an annual event, it always starts 12 days after Christmas. And it's kind of um, parallel to the church year because that's when um, the three wise men brought the gifts to the baby in the manger. And so um, we have something in this area of the country that we call the king cake. And the king cake celebration starts 12 days after Christmas. And it's where you would have, um, and the cake is usually in a circle, kind of like a cinnamon roll. And then there's a little iconic uh, little plastic uh, baby that you might put in the bottom of the cake. And whoever gets that piece, that slice, they get to have the next party. So it's a, it's a, it's a way of continuing the celebration of Mardi Gras right up to uh, Fat Tuesday. And actually Mardi Gras in French and English is Fat Tuesday. Uh, so we eat, drink, and be merry up until Fat Tuesday, and then we celebrate Easter. We fast for 40 days, and uh, of course there's Passover involved as well. And then we start the celebration over each year. And what's amazing is that, I'm not going to tell you how long, but I've been uh, a part of this for a number of years, and each year just seems to get bigger and better. Um, even though it's the same cycle, it always to see seemed to be something new and, and exciting. The lights are bright and they're different colors. And um, uh, it's to a point now where I simply look at it as an adult spring break um, because my history goes back to the inception of the Mobile Area Mardi Gras Association in 1938. No, I was not a member but my grandfather was one of the original founding members. So this organization was uh, founded in 1938. Most of the organizers of the Mobile Area Mardi Gras Association were first time collegiate graduates. And for the founding members, um, I would like to highlight one being uh, Mr. James Vestida. He was a local clothing tailor uh, along with his brother, Sam Bestida. And um, their offices was in the, uh, what we call our mobile uh, Black Wall Street, which was Davis Avenue. And they made some of the best suits that men could wear, really right up through the 1970s. Um, Mr. C.T. McKinnis was a local mortician. We all know what morticians do, so we don't need to to a dialogue on that, but uh, he was well known and well respected. And uh, he, he was one of the captains in the parades once we started, uh, because he, 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 he loved to ride horses. So, and, and most people remembered him for uh, 30 to 40 years that he rode on those horses right up again through the 1970s. Uh, Dr. W.L. Russell was a local dentist and uh, he was well respected and a, a force uh, in the organization uh, as well. And then there was Dr. James A. Franklin, who was my maternal grandfather. And you will notice today that there are um, medical clinics throughout the city of Mobile. In fact, there are 26 um, that are in his namesake. Uh, so these gentlemen had a vision and uh, their vision was to uh, provide a platform that young African Americans uh, could participate in a formal event um, in, in what we term as a royal coronation. And there would be a king, a queen, knights, ladies, and children of the court that uh, were selected by the association. And this would be an annual event that was pretty much attended uh, and known uh, throughout the black community. Um, and 
and those individuals would pretty much represent the social uh, network during this time. And, and, and the, the concept was not that they ever thought that they would be a king or a queen or a knight or a lady, but the organization was promoting that if they were to follow the processes in life, uh, attain their degrees, that they could be anything that they wanted to be in life. And that was the promotion of the Royal Coronation uh, during, during that period. Let me say prior to that, there was a black uh, carnival association back in the 1890s, which was called the Order of Doves. Uh, and they had their first Mardi Gras ball during that time period. Um, that organization was dissolved at some point um, not for sure when, but the Mobile Area Mardi Gras Association that started in the uh, 1938, and at that time um, it was called the Color Carnival Association. So for our maybe generation X, Y, Z, you, you may have to do a little um, research to get an understanding because in the 1930s, keep in mind that Segregation was still um, effective in this area. And Jim Crow laws existed during that time. And again, you, you, you might want to do a little bit more research on, on Jim Crow, but um, this was a time in this, in, in this country when um, there were uh, colors, and there were white entrances and participations in different events, which we have to take you back to uh, the 1890s with Plessy versus Ferguson. And that was a Supreme Court decision on separate but equal. Um, so during this time, um, uh, again, segregation was, was still active. And as a result, whites and blacks did not really um, have social events together. So in, in 1938, when the Mobile Area Mardi Gras Association was organized, um, it was a, a social club, a social club that was called the Utopia Social Club that actually was incorporated in 1936. And uh, it was a, a private uh, social club that, that provided activities, uh, social activities for their families. And so when the Mobile Area Mardi Gras Association was started, their primary purpose was to have social activities, civic activities, and to provide a, a, a forum for young black um, professional and collegiate uh, individuals to have a formal uh, presentation um, to have fun. And uh, one of the highlights of, of the organization was to have a royal coronation where a, a king and a queen and knights and ladies and um, courtiers would be selected uh, to participate in an annual event. It is still a, an event that a lot of people return back to Mobile each year to celebrate and they remember uh, that year that they uh, were a member of the court um, because being in that court one time is something that will stay with you for the rest of your life and it's an honor um, that that's recognized and, and, and cherished and um, celebrated each and every year. So the organization still exists today, and one of the most profound parts to me was that Dr. Russell was the first president in 1938, and he was elected the president for 50 years. Um, so 50 years he was president of this organization and built one of the strongest foundations for an organization that could exist. Um, after that time, the Constitution was amended that presidents could only serve 
two terms for two years. Um, I've had the uh, honor of being president of the Mobile Area Minor Girl Association, and um, there is an enormous amount of, of uh, activity and, and, and parts of the organization. And I cannot imagine someone um, wanting that task for, for 50 years, even though it's an opportunity. Um, but there, there are many components because you have the parades, you have the coronations, you have luncheons, you have monthly meetings, you have um, float building, um, you have uh, an organization today that, that consists of um, 130 plus members. And if you've been a part of any organization, you will know that you have uh, personalities from A to Z. So um, it can be a challenge. But if you have good, good members, um, which we do, and if you have a uh, good chairman of each one of these, these uh, projects, uh, it becomes a very easy task. And then you have, you know each year <clears throat> that the city uh, they're looking for your event. They're looking to attend the coronation. Um, they are looking for your parade. The Mobile Area Mardi Gras Association uh, today in 2021, uh, we have the largest parade in the city. In fact, it's called the Mammoth Parade because we have over 35 floats with bands and um, marching groups. Um, throughout the parade, it's, it's always the highlight of Fat Tuesday. And Fat Tuesday is the culmination of Mardi Gras. Thank you.